Welcome to Salient Systems user training videos. In this segment, you'll learn how to create custom views and maps in Complete View. Creating a custom camera view allows you to tailor your surveillance coverage so you can focus on critical areas or zones. This heightened focus can improve the chances of detecting suspicious behavior or events, enhancing your overall security awareness. Adding a custom map with your view gives an overview of camera placement and focal direction, providing a frame of reference to the physical location of any incident being viewed. Custom views and maps are tied to the creator's login credentials and are only visible to that user. Creating them is easy, and I'll show you how. So let's get started. Your first step will be logging into Complete View with your desktop client. Once you've done that, to create your custom views and maps, you'll need to be in the Live View module of Complete View. Once there, in the left navigation panel, you'll see a custom and favorite section below your regular views and maps. We'll start by creating a custom view. Click on the plus icon next to the custom label, right click on views and select new view. This opens the view creation interface. The view creation interface is divided into three main areas. At the top, you have the built-in templates and view settings. On the left is a list of all your servers and cameras and alarms that you have access to. And finally, there's the view layout with the layout edit controls at the bottom. There's three ways to create your custom view. You can use one of our pre-made templates available or even make your own template. You can simply drag and drop cameras or servers into the view. And you can create your own custom layout with the layout edit controls and then save that custom layout as a view or as a template for future views. I'll go through all three methods of creating views and we'll start with the view templates. View templates let you add a predefined camera layout to the view, then quickly drag and drop cameras into the tiles. Use the drop down menu to select a template, and then click on the check mark to apply that template to the view layout. With the controls to the right of the template selection, you can delete a template, add a new template, save a template that you've created or modified, and export a template for use on another deployment. You can also quickly clear a view and start over by selecting the clear icon located in the main menu bar next to the save button. Once you've selected and applied a template, you can drag and drop your cameras into the tiles. Your cameras are located in a list on the left side of the view creation window under the servers and cameras section. Click on the plus sign next to the recording server to view all of the cameras. Hovering a camera in the list will show you a preview window so you can see the stream before placing it into the view. To drag a camera into the tile, left click on it, drag it to the tile, and drop. Then repeat the process until all of the cells have the cameras that you want. If you place a camera in the wrong tile or drag in a camera that you don't want, don't worry. We have a lot of options. You can drag another camera and drop it on a cell that exists, like this and it will replace the current camera. You can also change the positions of the cameras in your view by left clicking on one camera, dragging it to a new location and dropping it and that will switch those two positions. You can also right click on any camera tile and remove the camera from the view or even remove the cell which will modify the view layout. If you remove a cell, the cameras will rotate from the bottom right to the top left. When you're ready, all you need to do is adjust some of your view settings to fit your preferences. The view preferences are in the columns across the top of the view layout. 
In order to have the view available for use, it must be enabled. The name of the view can be changed by clicking into the edit box in the name column and then changing the name. The camera aspect forces the camera stream to display in tiles using the selected aspect ratio. 4 by 3 is the default, but you can choose 16 by 9 or 9 by 16. Choose your preferred camera aspect ratio. And then the in tour and the dwell time are only relevant if you plan to use a view tour. View tours are toggled on and off by users and will rotate through all the included views, pausing on each view for the number of seconds specified by the dwell time. If you plan to use this feature, the dwell time should be adjusted so that users have adequate time to see the cameras present in each view. If not, just uncheck the in tour option. FPS and quality can be adjusted, but the defaults are typically optimal for most cases. These settings only affect your live view of the cameras and have no impact on the recorded frame rate and video quality. Increasing your FPS and quality in live view will increase the network bandwidth being used. The last column contains a drop down for all of the maps that you have created or have access to and you can select a specific map to display with specific views or leave it set to none for no preference. When all of your settings are complete, make sure that you save your view. Now we'll create another view, and this time we'll use the drag and drop feature to add our cameras. Using the same method as earlier, right click on Views under Customs and Favorites and select New View. In the view creation area, click on the plus sign of the recording server to show the cameras, and then drag and drop a camera into the view. When you drag another camera, make sure to drop it in the blank areas outside of the first tile. This will add the camera to the view. If you drag and drop a camera onto an existing tile, it will replace the camera. You can hold the control key and click on multiple cameras to select them and then drag and drop those into a view. And if you hold the shift key, you can select a block of cameras, which can be drag and drop into the view. You can even drag and drop an entire recording server into your view. Just keep in mind that if you have 100 cameras on a server, you'll end up with 100 cameras in your view. The position of the cameras in the view can be changed just like with templates by left clicking, dragging, and dropping to a new position. There's no limit on this, so you can continue to adjust as you need. You can remove a single camera or a cell with the right click option. And when all of your cameras are in permission, you can make any changes you need with the view settings. Enter a name for your view, change your aspect ratio, do any other settings that you want. I'm going to remove it from the tour. And when you're ready, make sure that you save that configuration. Next, we're going to create a view using the layout edit controls. So once again, we'll right click on views under customs and favorites and choose New View. This time our focus is at the bottom of the view creation window and the layout edit controls. The only option available to us is the Add Cell. Each click of the Add Cell places another camera tile into your view. Once you've added some cells, click on a tile to select it. You can see when a camera tile is selected by looking for the check mark in the top left corner of the cells bar. When a cell is selected, the other layout edit controls become active. You can remove a cell. You can split a cell into two by two. 
and you can split a cell into three by three. You can also save your cell layout as a template by selecting the Add Template icon. This will place a new template in the dropdown. You can enter in a custom name and then select the Save Template option. You'll see the icon represents your view layout. Once you're satisfied with your cell layout, add in your cameras using the same drag and drop method. Once you're satisfied with your cell layout, you can adjust your view settings. Change your aspect ratio if you want, and then remember to save your view. Next, we're gonna move on to creating custom maps. Creating custom maps is very similar to views. We'll go down to our Customs and Favorites section, and this time we'll right-click on Maps and choose New Map. Now there's two types of maps, Satellite, which is the default, and Image Maps, which can use any JPEG, GIF, PNG, or bitmap image. When using a satellite map, you'll enter the address that you want to use into the address bar, and then select Go to Address. Holding a left click on your mouse allows you to pan the map and you can zoom in and out with the mouse roller or the controls down here in the corner. The map cannot be rotated and the orientation will always be north is up. To place your cameras on the map, click on the plus sign next to the recording server and then drag your drop your cameras onto their position. If you misplace a camera on the map, you can right click and remove it, or simply just drag that same camera out again into the correct position, and it will swap on the map. Once your camera is on the map, you can adjust the cone direction, angle, and length. To adjust the direction, left click on the cone, and then move it to point in the direction relative to the camera. To adjust the cone angle, hover your cursor right on the edge of the cone, left click, and then you can adjust the angle of the camera to represent the field of view. Finally, if you hover on the very edge of the cone, you'll see a four-pointed arrow, which with a left click will allow you to drag it in and adjust the length or out. You'll have to repeat that adjustment several times because the length only changes a small amount with each adjustment. Use these same steps to position your other cameras and when you've placed the cameras that you want on the map, you can go up and adjust any map settings. You can rename your map by selecting the name column, highlighting the name and typing a new one. And then you also have the option to hide your cones and hide the camera labels. If you deselect those, you'll lose the cones and the same with the labels. Once everything is set up, remember to save your map. Next, we'll create an image map. All right, for an image map, we'll use the same process Right click on Maps here under Customs and Favorites and choose New Map. When the map creation opens, we'll have to change the type of map that we're creating. In the map settings up here, you'll see a column with map type. Select the drop down and change it from satellite to image map. Next, we'll click on the Import Image button and use the Windows Explorer to browse for a local or network image file for your map. Remember the valid image types are JPEG, GIF, PNG, or bitmaps. 
Now, we don't have a minimum or maximum or even a recommended image size, so finding or creating a good image map takes a little bit of a trial and error. If your image is a low res, like 800 by 600, your cameras are going to look really big. But at the same time, a 4K image resolution will make your cameras look really small. You may end up resizing your image resolution to get a really good looking map. Once you've selected your image map, choose OK in the Explorer. The selected map appears in the map creation window. And now you're ready to drag and drop your cameras using the same method we did when creating the satellite map, remembering to adjust your cone direction, angle, and length as you need. When you're finished, give your map a name. and make any other settings adjustments to your cones or labels, and then make sure you save your map. Now all your custom views and maps are available in the custom section whenever you log in. They're really easy to switch to, just click on the view or the map that you wanna see. And that's all there is to creating custom maps and views in Complete View. If you found this video helpful, follow us for more user training videos. And if you have comments on our videos, send an email to training at salientsys.com. Thanks for watching.